Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Grand Cat and today we are going to finish off our Admirals, or at least the ones that we have currently, we're still missing Isho, big old Fujitora, with of course Fleet Admiral Sengoku, not Fleet Admiral Sa Sakuzuki, but Fleet Admiral Sengoku, who came from this Marineford set. This was bought in Liberty Akihabara, it was 3,000 yen, and you can see there it was the, well, it, it has the date as... The twelve, well, twenty three, the twenty twenty three, twelve o eight. So I think that may be when it was priced. Uh, it says something up here. I think this maybe says that it's been pre-owned. Uh, there you can see it is worth four happy golden cat points. There you can see the very very cool figures from Marineford. This is from TV one one four, and you can see that we've got Ace Sakazuki, all three admirals, Little Lords Junior. Uh, of course, uh, Kobe and Sentamaru. He said forgetting Sentamaru's name very, very briefly there. So, let's go ahead and open them up. This is the last one that uh, we have in terms of Admirals, at least for the moment. Once we get a Fujitora, we will indeed be doing him as well, opening him up. And once again, with the older style, of these figures. You can see that he comes in very many different parts, which is very cool. So the jacket is removable, and you can see he comes with this hat, and he comes with the, the seagull that is always adorned on top of his head. So, very, very cool to see that. Uh, I think Saint Goku is a particularly rare figure. There's a few, couple of different versions of him. You can get him in his Buddha form, and you can also get him um, as the older, uh, retired version of Sengoku. But the version that I wanted was this version, where he's Fleet Admiral. And let's Get all the pieces and the most important piece of all, <laughs> some would dare argue. Um, right, so let's try putting him together. So there we have the body. It's really nice that they put all the detail into the back as well as the front. You know, even the parts that won't be shown, they they still put all the effort in. So let's try and attach this little part here before we put the, the jacket on. It's a little bit loose, but there we are. It seems to stick. And in fact, actually, let's see him without the the jacket first of all. So there we are, that's what Sengoku looks like without the Fleet Admiral jacket on. It's uh, it's quite a bit of a difference. And of course, we have to put the crowning achievement of the seagull on top of the head, which is just a little bit in refusal. It's fighting me, to say the least. It's a very, very small area that we're working with. You can see there. So, trying to get it in, and of course trying to do it on camera, it's not the easiest thing. I might just pause the video and put it in myself, <laughs> otherwise. But there you go, there's the rough idea of them. And let's take the head off, and there is the Fleet Admiral jacket. It's very cool because the, the Fleet Admiral jacket only has the white parts, but when Sakazuki takes over, he actually retains the red sleeves on his uh, Fleet Admiral jacket that he had while he was an Admiral. So that's a little cool tidbit for you. And... Hmm, the jacket seems to be a little bit off to the side, which I don't think it's supposed to be. You know what, I think I'm going to pause the video just here 
just to try and sort this out so we're not wasting too much time. Bear with me. And I am back, folks, and there he is. Sakazuki looks... Sakazuki? Sengoku looks absolutely fantastic. I was thinking of the other Fleet Admiral, and of course I'm not talking about Fleet Admiral Kong. However, if there's a Fleet Admiral of him, I may try and get him at some point in the future. If anyone doesn't know who Fleet Admiral Kong is, he was the Fleet Admiral before Sengoku. And he didn't even retire, he was promoted to a higher position than Fleet Admiral, which is absolutely ludicrous considering that uh, Fleet Admiral is the highest that you can get. So there he is, the top of the Marines himself. A man who always handles himself with his distinction, even though he has a seagull on his head at all times. It is, of course, Fleet Admiral Sengoku, which is very, very nice, very, very lovely. It's a wonderful, wonderful part of the collection. Now yeah, we do have another few videos that I'm going to do before I finish up here today, or this morning as it is now. I started last night, it has now got into the morning. I've worked throughout the entire night, but we are having a lot of fun here, and I hope you guys are all enjoying it as well. Let's get a quick little shot of just all the... The admirals that we have seen together. So there he is. Of course, Sengoku and Greenville didn't have the pleasure of working alongside one another because Sengoku had already retired by the time that um, Ar Aramaki, he said forgetting his real name, had actually joined up with the Marines. But there we are, folks. That's going to be it for this little video. I really hope that you all enjoyed. And if you did enjoy it, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these glorious little videos go out. And we shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.